Okay. So, I used to be a ride share driver. And that had its issues in and of itself. But now I do food delivery. Let me tell you about the experience I just had. So, I get a request to go pick up an order. Head 15 minutes away, pick up said order, get to the restaurant, confirm with the person putting the order together that it was in fact for my client James T and that it was Maker's Mark Mills and they said yes. I don't look in anybody's food boxes so I don't know what it is because it just gives a name not a description of the meals. I get all the way to the client's place of business. Ooh, this light makes me look like the crib keeper. <laughs> I'm going in a tunnel. But I do that and I make it there. Exchange some nice words with the gentleman James that I'm dropping the meals to. Go on about my business head to the next location to try and get another fee. Well, I'm sorry. Order. Order request. Three minutes into my drive, I get a call from the generic number. It's James saying that his order is wrong. Now, I've already completed my order and I'm headed to the next destination. So me being the nice person that I am, I turn around. Knowing I'm not gonna get paid for this. Not gonna get paid for this, this correction. Turn around, head back, pick up the food, contact the restaurant, let them know they made a mistake and that I'm en route to correct it. They put James's name on someone else's order. So they messed it up. Then I contact the food delivery company to let them know of the mistake. Thank you so very much. We'll update the status. It's not your fault. Good. I get to the restaurant. They confirm the mistake. They are preparing a fresh new order. Correct order. Everything is everything. So why do I head back now. This company, the food delivery company, knows that I have to go back to deliver the correct order. Why did they deactivate the phone number and now I can't contact the customer? So I have been sitting outside of the customer's job for at least 10 minutes trying to get the food delivery company to contact the customer all they got to do is access the customer's account confirm that i delivered to the customer because you had oh my god dumb shit that you see on the road while you drive because you have the customer's account information to be able to confirm as well as you have my account information to confirm that i in fact made this delivery go through all of this explaining and oh i'm sorry it's only text no phone call to speak to someone so i'm texting all of this and can i did i forget to tell you that where i'm delivering to is a judicial system it's a court building a municipal center actually with no parking because all the parking is for staff officers to be exact and they're just circling the block, and circling the block, and circling them, the meter maids, the parking enforcement, whatever you want to call them, they are circling the block, just waiting for me to exit my car so they can give me a ticket. Welcome to my fucking DC.